Hey guys, my name's Tyson, Kicker Technical Support. Today what I'm going to do is demonstrate how we can wire up two woofers to have a final output to help us match what amplifiers we're going to work with. Working here right here, we have two of our Kicker comps. These are single voice coil sub, four ohm. What we'll do is we'll start off with parallel wiring. Start with a simple piece of our wiring, flip our subs over. Parallel wiring consists of positive to positive, negative to negative. I'll put a piece in here. It's my negative. Positive wire. Negative. Positive. It's parallel wiring. What we do now is we have to run these speakers to our amplifier. So, take off with this. This is our positive wire going into our positive terminal. Negative to our negative terminal. This will be my speaker lead to my amplifier. To help you determine what amplifier you'd want to use, take a simple multimeter, digital meter, switch it to our ohm settings, Take our leads, take our blue wire, which is our positive, positive lead, negative to our negative lead. This meter's out to be a two ohm load. Both these subs are good. I'm gonna look for an amplifier that's two ohm stable. If you take your speaker lead to your amplifier, and this is a lower ohm load than what the amp can handle, it can damage a channel on your amplifier, cause your amplifier to cut off, not work properly. Never want to go below the ohm load that your amplifier recommends. Okay, here we are with our Kicker Comp 10 inch 4 ohm subs. We're going to wire them in series this time to get our different ohm load. Same thing as before, back side of our subs, we have our positive and our negative leads. With series wiring, we want to connect the negative of one speaker to the positive the other speaker. That leaves us a positive and a negative left over between the two woofers, which will go to the amplifier. Take our speaker wire, negative into here, positive to here. Remember this is series wiring. This will be our lead that goes to the amplifier. Test that lead out, see what your ohm load is. You can take your multimeter, switch it to your ohm setting. Positive to positive, negative to negative on our meter. we really close to about an eight ohm load. We're at about seven, five, seven, six ohm load. You'd look for an amplifier that could produce with these comps, 300 watts at an eight ohm load. You never want to go lower than the ohm load that the amp recommends. If you can do that, you can end up damaging your amplifier, burning a channel out, causing the amp to go into protect. So doing a setup like this, you'd look for an amplifier that could do an eight ohm load. <clears throat> if we had a sub that went bad or damaged, our value in our amplifier when you unhook the wire from the amp, you'd test that load. The ohm load would be a lot lower than eight. We'd have a sub that's bad. 